I think one of the most remarkable examples is, uh, is a Canadian one, Marshall McLuhan. I think you're right. Because I think, you're right. I think here you have uh, an almost complete, um, well, a prophecy that literature is finished and really a willingness that literature shall be finished. This is what really sho yes. shocks me. <laughs> it's funny, we went to, I rather incidentally, let me hasten to say, as a person, I like him. Yes. And I think what's more, that that he is a very good man, you know, as a, as a person. But we went to one of his seminars when we were in Toronto before we came up, to which he kindly invited us. And I felt it sort of kind of interesting. But my wife had so strongly, my wife Kitty had so strongly the feeling that you have, that she sat in a sort of state of smoldering rage because she felt that she was listening to the actual kind of destroyer of our civilization a glorying in what he'd done, in making, in, in, in transforming language into incoherence. After all, this is the, this is the ultimate act of barbarism. And that, that's what she felt. I tried to uh, look at it in a happier light because I rather like him, but I see her point. I and think it's the point you're making. There is really a, a kind of suicidal urge which you, you do see appearing in cultures at certain periods.